guys, today we are going to practice counting. We're going to do what we would normally call a choral count, even though we're not all together. I would like for you to still follow the very same rules where we count with one voice. That means your voice is going to match my voice while I count. And then second, remember we want to we want to stay with the pen. So you'll see the marker on the screen when I am writing the number. You're saying the number as we do it, but you if I am writing a number, you aren't skipping way ahead, you're going to ma make your voice match my voice and make your voice match the pen. Okay, we're going to start with the number 76 and we're going to count until we get to 98. Ready? Here we go. 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. Okay, so look at those numbers, 76 to 93. One thing I want you to notice is we started counting at 76, but we have 76, we have a six, a seven, eight, nine, the next thing that happens when we get to nine is that that number changes to a zero, but the seven, 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 that's 70, 70, 70, 70, changes to an eight or 80. That's the number 80. That means that we have eight sets of 10 and zero sets of one. One more thing I want you to notice is we have, again, we're in the 80s. So it's 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then the next number again changes to a 0, but the 80 changes to a 90. So it has 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. 80 80, 80, 90. That means there are nine sets of 10 and zero sets of one. If we continue this pattern, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, what do you think is gonna come next in our pattern? All right, so we're gonna go on. I want you to think about what's gonna come next in that pattern, but we're gonna move on to our problem solving for today. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna do for the rest of our time, because your time is a little different today. Okay, so you are going to go to, this right here was our choral count, 76 to 90. I'll switch it to 93 because we did 93 instead of 98. But then when we get down here to do a counting collection, we have been doing counting collections together. We did twice. We looked at how to do a counting collection. Today, I want you to do your very first counting collection on your own. So you're going to choose, you're gonna use whatever you have collected for yourself as a collection. Remember that you're counting them, that you're recording them, and then you're gonna do the other parts where you fill it in on the 100 chart and you add one and take one away from it, okay? I want you to do your very first counting collection and then I want you to put a picture of it on Seesaw for me. The last thing that you're gonna do for number sense and problem solving is we have been working on solving problems. 
in our math time. Today, I wanna to see what you can do all by yourself. So, you are going to go to this first. You're going to make sure to do your counting collection. Then, go to the Seesaw Problem Solving Activity. And it's gonna give you instructions of what to do. You may do your work on the screen. You may draw a picture. You can use numbers to solve the problem. You use whatever you need to to solve the problem. I wanna see what you can do all by yourself, okay? So here it is. It's working super slow today. Okay, here's our problem. I'm gonna click on it. I can read the instructions. It's moving slow. Okay, here's the template. The instructions told me to solve the problem. When you get to the template, you're gonna see this arrow. That means that there's a recording there for you. I have read the math problem to you. You can listen to it as many times as you need to. Then in the box, I want you to solve the problem. Okay, friends, so that is what you're doing for your number sense activity during your fluency time today. Make sure you get your dream box time in, but you're also going to do a quick assessment on seesaw math symbols. I want to know what you know about math symbols so that I know what else I can teach you about math symbols. All right, keep working hard today. You are doing fantastic.